take the boat. We took the mystery box. Hop in. Hey, Quagmire. Maybe the mighty Mississippi. What did you just call me? I, I, I thought that was your name. That is our word. You've got no right using it. Hey, 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 I'm cool. I'm cool. No problem. Joker, too. I guess, I guess I'm just old fashioned that way. Hi, welcome to. <laughs> Very funny. Excuse me, sir. I haven't even. Oh, oh, that one was hilarious. That was even funnier than your two dirty, stinking apes to throw feces at each other. <laughs> Don't worry, I got, I got it out of control. Oh, this stupid and ugly contest, you don't know, win or lose, whichever's funnier. Hey, hey, Lois. That one wasn't very good. Peter, they were laughing at you because it looked like you peed yourself, not because they liked your jokes. Well, maybe that was part of my act. Urine happens to be very edgy, but I guess an unfunny person like... So you got something to look at while you're talking to them. <laughs> that's, good. that's a good one, Peter. That's what they're for, all right. Are you telling jokes? I love jokes. Oh, all right. Then you'll love this. Mr. Griffin, I'm Gloria Ironbox. I represent one of your co-workers, Sarah Bennett. She's suing you and the company for sexual harassment. Sarah. Sarah. I don't... Oh, she don't want we videotape her, please. Miss Ironbox, I assure you this company in no way condones Peter's conduct. In fact, a film on employee relations has been a mandatory part of our personnel training for 50 years. Remember, nothing says good job like a firm, open palm slap on the behind. Mr. Weed, I teach a workplace sensitivity training class. All right, now let's do some role playing. I'll be the office assistant. Mr. Henson, why don't you play the boss and we'll see what you've learned tonight. Okay. Shirt on. <gasps> Mr. Griffin! I'm, I'm sorry, that came out wrong. Let, let, let me try again. Nice ass. You haven't heard a word I've said. Now, that's not fair. I've heard everything you've said. It's just, that's a bad mud puddle. I wouldn't want you to step in that and get your nice shoes all ruined. And there was that time you got cut. Hello, ladies. I'm Miss Watson, director of the retreat. I'd like to welcome Peter Griffin, who's here to get in touch with his feminine side. This world would be a far better place if... Come on, it's only childbirth. How much could it hurt? Peter, it's like taking your bottom lip and stretching it over your head to the back of your neck. Come on. Hey, 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 you want to hear some horror stories? You wouldn't believe what I had to go through when Lois... ...been left you. But you are a beautiful person, and I am here for you. Notice I'm making physical contact with her in order to establish a connection. Any I can't do it! Yes, you can! Trust your sisters! Jump into the trust jump, quilt! Jump! Jump! jump. Trust jump. us! We love you! We'll catch you! ...can begin. <laughs> Welcome back, Tita. Lois! Mwah. And my mummy dunked me in a barrel of sugar. Oh, for God's sake. Nothing. I'm just called to talk. What you thinking about? What? What do you mean? What am I thinking about? You called me. I just wanted to say hi. So what do you do? You know, one of these days, I'm gonna need the mirror. I thought you'd be happy! Oh! Oh, 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 this is just great. Now my own wife is... You to forget about mine. Remember this? Huh? Remember? Oh, my God, that reminds me. I gotta get myself a breast exam. Uh-oh. ...a little different lately. It was refreshing at first, but now... Well, he doesn't even treat me like a woman anymore. Uh, uh, I know where this is going, Lois, and I'm already sim- Come on, Cleveland, if we're gonna remasculate Peter, we need to surround him with chicks. Let's blow this sausage fest and hit the International House of Tail. No. He needs to learn how to respect his fellow. And it's your fault we have so much violence in this country. You are ruining our society and you should be ashamed. His wife. 
Yes. Peter tells me you don't have a career of your own. Oh, no. Life outside my kitchen is so bright and scary. I'm just here because you caught... Your husband didn't respect women. Excuse me? I can't imagine how screwed up your kids must be. You bitch. <laughs> which we'll ignore, because it's Gabby Hoffman Donald ducking it. Last time we went to that, we lost a lot of subscribers, and we're keeping an eye on the Nick. We don't want to bring you dead boobs, but if they're alive, we'll get you over there. Ah, crap, it's almost three. I gotta get out of here. There's no regulation. Oh. And most of them have cameras, so people can spy on whoever they want and invade their privacy. Oh. Peter, are you ordering a drone right now? You bet your ass I am. Owning a drone is gonna be a blast. Even more fun than when I had Stewie, I don't have time to sip air and pretend to eat a wooden hamburger patty. Yeah? Tell me why you don't have time. All right, I have time. And there's nothing pretend about this. Real tea, real milk, and the best honey you'll ever taste in your whole life. It's Greta, who just had sex. So, you go all the way? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna need some proof. Hmm, how can I prove it? Maybe with Father O'Leary's briefs. Oh! The king! <laughs> he said he loved me. Check it out, here comes all we play. I've been a bad drone. Peter, you've been knocking a while. I don't think anyone's in there. Yeah, look at all this mail. Maybe he's on vacation or something sell honey at the farmer's market, you need to practice. So you be the salesman, and I'll be the customer. Ooh, what do we have here? Uh, honey, like the sign says. I find your attitude cavalier. May I speak to your manager? Stewie, come on. I'm great, give me one minute, let me text my fiance. Your what? That was Bonnie. She said they already sold the house behind us. Poor Mr. Siegel. Did you guys see? Oh my god, that was Rob Gronkowski! <laughs> Am I running? Is this what running is? So exciting. Please give me my mail and go. What the hell are you doing? I wanted to bring over something to welcome Gronk to the neighborhood, so I scraped. <sighs> anyway. Go suck up to your big dumb monster. I'll be here hooking the G to thoughts of Edelman. So what'd you get in Cleveland? All right. Oh my God, you guys, having Gronk here is gonna be the best. Kinda like those years when it was just Marley and me. Hey, my dog's chewing up that thing I need. Hey, my dirt room that's just got a lit candle on a bale of hay. Is that just? Because of the danger? That's exactly why. My dumb wife won't let me have a room like that. Do you have a wife? Out <laughs> 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 the shower. Ultra Sunrise Monster Energy Drink. Sponsored by Monster Energy Drink. Why do you keep saying what things are sponsored by? My manager said if I don't, I won't go to heaven. Sponsored by SMS Audio Sweatproof Sport Headphones. And we're almost totally sold out. Yes, I didn't see that coming. Just like Dan Cortez didn't see the end of the 90s coming. Three, two, one! Happy New Year! You and Brady look at each other and, and am I am I supposed to touch you? What what am I what am I doing here? Oh, I'm sorry, bro. What was the question? I just I just want to know if you and Brady have like a like a secret hand signal or something. Whoa, that is top secret. But lean in and I'll tell all right, since we sold out so fast, we've got to make these bees more productive, get them to make more honey. How are we going to do that? Steroids, Brian. This here is the same stuff that turned Barry Bond's head into a prize. God, you're still going? Peter, this is exactly what I told you would happen. Not so much fun anymore, is it? Oh, thank God. Maybe they're wrapping it up. Noise! Noise! Loud noise! Yeah, sure. Hey, you ever seen a nard explode? A, a what? A what? A nard? I don't... Is that something on the internet? Because I... Ah, damn it! What the hell? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, nice shot there. Come on. Don't get mad, bro. I was just kidding. He 
Steve, that you gotta figure something out. They haven't stopped partying the whole night. Yeah! Wrong! Party! I'm the dad! I'm sorry, you were right all along. Honey, the bee's made. Those steroids were a great idea, Stewie. Hey, look, that bee is trying to get our honey. Okay, Mr. Bee, we'll give you the employee discount. After all, you... Ah! Holy crap. I think maybe giving those bees steroids was a bad idea. <gasps> Turn on the wipers! <laughs> Wait a minute. This is just a disguise. Ah! Son of a bitch! What's going on here? Are you guys trying to get rid of me? Yeah, we're trying to get rid of you. Why? Cuz you're a pain in the ass to live next to. I mean, what the hell, Gronk? Why you gotta be like this? Simple. I play the jester because society deems it necessary. Also, I'm insane! <laughs> Eat a butt, fatty. Gronk ain't going nowhere. 